Hey everybody, and welcome to Join the Anarchy, the interactive and improvised Shadowrun Anarchy campaign played live on Twitch with you, our audience, and with these lovely people, our regular players, plus our guest, Bobby from Complex Action. Hey Bobby, tell us Hello. about Complex Action, who you are, what you doing here. My God name damn. is Bobby. Um, I'm uh, a little bit caught off guard by that. By but, my uh, peppiness? Yeah. yeah. But, I don't know where that came from. But uh, I have a YouTube Stop channel, youtube.com slash complex action and i do right now a bunch of uh videos uh, called gm screen videos that are little rules tutorials for shadowrun fifth edition and uh, i do a lot of other stuff on twitch so if you're on if you listen and watch twitch then you probably have seen me on here once in a while hey everybody and welcome back to complex action <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to right. hit the subscribe. <laughs> you know, and also, don't forget to recognize Palmer. Life. Palmer. <laughs> yeah. Palmer, who uh, just donated a shit ton of money and said, hey, oh, I'm going to be the stream boss now. So everyone gets a point of edge. Woo! Hey. Oh, we have not even started playing and we have two extra points. And we already have two edge, Palmer. yeah. We got one during the break and then one now. This is We awesome. do not deserve you guys. You guys are too good for us. You guys are, um, oh, you're getting, getting there. Sure, okay. sure. So, um, yeah, so who are we? What do we do? We are a Shadowrun Anarchy game. Uh, it is the alternate rule set to Shadowrun 5th edition. The This is the less crunchy, less, um, obnoxious version of Shadowrun. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's the, uh, it's the, the most yeah. viewable version of Shadowrun. Sure, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, th there's wow. a lot of people that would disagree. However, uh, we hope that by you watching us, we make a case for why we love Shadow and Energy. And anyway, so we're playing that. It's cyberpunk, urban fantasy, and it's totally improvised with help from you, our audience. So every time that we take a suggestion from you in chat to mold the story in some way, any of us can incorporate into the story, and then we get plot points, which is an in-game currency that we can use for all kinds of wonderful things, such as making horrible things happen, yep. or making easy things happen, um, or attacking horrible twice, easy. or et cetera. Yeah, probably horrible things. Um, and uh, you get an entrance into our raffle ticket, or into our raffle, uh, into our raffle, you get a raffle ticket to our raffle, which, uh, yeah, which I believe we're actually drawing tonight. Yes. Oh. Because it's the last oh, show of the year. Yeah. Also, yep. remember all of those people who uh, watched our last show. Uh, your names are also in that raffle still. So yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, so yeah. So that will. What is that raffle? You ask. Twenty five dollars worth of drive through RPG content, which is enough to buy yourself a copy of Shadow and Anarchy or Shadow and Source Books or who knows whatever else you might be into. So make lots of awesome suggestions, and uh, you'll increase your chances of winning because every one that we take is a ticket. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, aside from that, um, all right. So uh, yeah, I'm Oz. I am the game master. Uh, you might also know me from Radio Free Detroit uh, the, as the voice of Ziggy. You might also know me from Tales from the Stuffer Shack on the Violent Life podcast. I play Augustus. Uh, and I'll be making a comeback starting in January. And uh, what else? Hey. I'm sure I do lots of other stuff. Uh, but those are probably the most important ones. Oh, yeah. Once Upon a Tabletop. I do stuff. I do lots of stuff. Uh, Things. Who's next on the list? Tr Fritz. Tr uh, Fritz. Trav. Tell us about you. Hi. How's it going? My name's Trav. You can probably recognize me from Join the Anarchy. Uh, I am also uh, a YouTuber, streamer, and voice actor because <laughs> who needs originality when you could just be everything everyone else is? Uh, I play Fritz, the, <laughs> the German elf technomancer with a lot of PhDs and maybe a little bit of depression. Uh, the spice yeah. of it. At very least, PTSD. Yeah. Oh, oh, not PhD, PTSD. You're right. Yeah, oh, right. A, lot <laughs> yeah, yeah. a lot of PTSDs. <laughs> PCP. Doctorate in depression. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, but uh, if you like, if you like, uh, hey, if you like uh, cyberpunk things, you should uh, check out Cybernautica Pod uh, at Cybernautica Pod. Yeah. Speaking of voice acting, no reason. <laughs> no reason. Oh, There's no connection there. What? <laughs> Basically, if you like Bioshock and Shadowrun, inject it straight into your veins. Thank you. <laughs> Frick, that sounds great. I'm so excited. Um, Voltar. 
Also known Hi. as Paige. I'm Paige. Paige Jones. Nice to meet you. I play Voltar, a completely cybernetic cyberpunk chick lady dude that has daddy issues. <coughs> uh, she works for Ares right now, and currently they are in Rome, that I remember. And uh, I think that's all I have to say about Voltar. Fair. Very I'm nice. a person that does things, and I will plug those things at the end of the show. Soy Mage, thank you for the sub! Boom! Thank you very Thanks much. Mage. So much love. All right, and finally, Deliverance. Hello, I am Scrim, and I play Deliverance, a uh, Christian blood mage who uh, has been rediscovering some aspects of herself that she's not too proud of, but thinks she can reframe in a new way. Um, and... Uh, I personally do not really. Uh, uh, this is kind of my kind of my jam. Join the anarchy. Don't really do much else. But I do have a couple exciting uh, appearances <laughs> appearances <laughs> coming up um, <laughs> on some other channels, which I will also plug after the show. Nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, and, oh. 900 bits for Jesus. <laughs> 900 for Jesus. Yeah. 900 bits for Jesus. <laughs> Put some Jesus. sugar on Jesus. You <laughs> shall get it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, did, Edge. Did we did we get Edge this time? I think so. Guys, did we, we get the stream wait. boss? Yeah. I'm Let's waiting for it to edge. turn. Did it? Stream Sorry. boss has definitely already changed. Yeah. La, 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 la. Oh, I guess you, you you're not streaming. I'm the one streaming it, so I have more yeah. no. ready yeah. access to that information. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Bobby. Yes. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right. All right. In the zone. <laughs> this is anarchy. In the zone. Um. So, uh, another thing to note is that that's every time these stream bosses are getting killed, everyone is fighting for the right to create an NPC with me to appear on the next episode. Uh, last session, that honor went to Buff Stuff McGruff who uh, created name. a very, yeah, I know, right? Created a very interesting NPC, which I'm looking forward to inserting into this one and uh, potentially ruining someone's day. <laughs> oh, good. Dude, buff, buff We're stuff, all dead. <laughs> buff stuff McGruff, dude. He, like, found out about us one day and then, like, a couple days later was like, I'm caught up on season two. And it's like, yeah. okay. Hey, Holy welcome to season like, one. Awesome. And he, like, remembers yeah. the story better than us because he, like, just yeah. so he listened just to all of it. it. Yeah. So he's, he's like, like yeah. tell me about this thing. I'm like, mm, what? Do you remember the vampire from season one? And I'm like, I don't remember what I had oh for breakfast God. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That was on that train chase, right? I wasn't there yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that was... Coincidentally, uh, Trev, it was Count ago. Chocula. Oh! Yeah! And coincidentally, also, the episode that Bobby was on. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true! That's yeah. our first yeah. guest! And yeah. now he's been here with us for weeks, and he's not going <laughs> to leave. I'm never <laughs> leaving. I'm, forever. I'm never leaving. Welcome to right, so he's, he's literally our crutch now. <laughs> So let's talk about what's uh, what's what's happening. Let's happened. catch the audience up. So previously on Join the Anarchy, uh, on the Join the Anarchy, Anarchy, boom boom. Um, the team was yes, thank you. Drive. <laughs> was this supposed to be like? Was this supposed to be like a butterfly wipe? It's like a, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like butterfly wipe, wipe to the to, yeah. to the scene. Uh, the team has flown. To uh, I guess it would be like a white dove would be more appropriate to Rome, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so the team gets contracted for a job in Rome uh, with the Order of Saint Sylvester, and uh, essentially to uh, train Deliverance um, in the ways of Christian blood magic. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, they've paired them with uh, Sarah Pureheart, who is a representative of the Order of uh, Saint Sylvester and a blood paladin. So, uh, in the uh, in the quest that they've been given, they've uncovered. Well, first they were sent to investigate a murder at the Pantheon of a very grisly mass murder, um, which they determined was a ritual murder um, made to summon a Master Shadim. So they are trying to hunt down the Master Shadim, and they followed a lead. Um, after killing a regular boring Shadim, uh, they killed one of those uh, who was uh, working inside of the Pantheon, 
uh, was an inside man and erased a bunch of footage of the murders themselves. And when they looked in their phone, found in their comm link, found that they were basically scammed by a group called the Mercury's Maidens. They got a scam email that promised them a bunch of money and then in return, uh, basically without knowing, uh, without consenting, lost their body to the purposes of the Shadim that took over and basically helped make all of this happen. And now that ghoul is probably dead in the astral plane. Uh, so... Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Um, poor so nothing. now they... Right. Well, they hunted well. down the they hunted down this gang as they flash mobbed the Circus Maximus and in spectacular fashion uh, were able to kidnap the leader of the Mercury's Maidens, Larunda. It was spectacular. It was uh, it was quite spectacular. And I think we like now, also scared the shit out of some of them because I remember all of us being invisible. <laughs> like, and I was yeah, there was a lot of yeah, there was a lot of wacky shit going on. I mean, it, yeah. there's like roller derby, like fighting. Yeah, and last session and was good. And... Watch last mm -hmm. session. <laughs> there yeah. was roller derby. There was fireworks. There was fire. <laughs> uh, like, like, paint. comment, and subscribe. I thought we told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's basically where we've left off at. So, team, tell me. <laughs> that, was that was a literal dub. Well done. Well done. Cool. Like honestly, uh, from the corner of my eye, because I was looking at chat, I was like, "What just happened to Trap?" Oh, <laughs> like Dove. Dove what? Dove. So, team, <clears throat> as Matt Mercer would like to say, what do you want to do? <laughs> um, the uh, so Pure Heart is not carrying. La Runda. Who was actually carrying La Runda? I was Voltar. Voltar, yeah. Yeah, because Pure Heart was Pure Heart was guarding her rear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, as they made their escape, um, well, when they get they get back to his uh, his uh, luxury sedan, <laughs> um, <laughs> his his luxury sports sedan, he pops open the trunk, and uh, and uh, pulls out some um, restraints that he has in there. Um, like you do and uh and uh and starts to get to work tying her up and says we'll throw her in the back and we'll get we'll get hold on i have to get pure heart's voice back we'll throw her into the back and we'll get her to a place more suitable for questioning are we sure that she's the the one we'll find out soon enough deliverance looks quite uncomfortable and nods <coughs> Uh, invisible Fritz bumps into Invisible Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh God! Oh, sorry. Let me oh, let me hey. just. She dispels it really quickly. <clears throat> sorry, Fritz. Hey. I, oh. Hi. I feel yeah, like it, <clears throat> as there's a dispel, Volter's just like she's holding him and just rubbing her face, and it's covered in purple. And she just goes. I That's right. It was spray painted in the face. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Deliverance pulls out out of the. Uh, Let's peel you guys out. Like you guys are on the road yeah. down the hi yeah. down the highway or the whatever the streets are here in Rome. A deliverance pulls wet wipes out of her giant mom purse and wipes <laughs> uh, wipes oh, Voltar's well. face. <laughs> I was I, I was gonna say. Oh, let me get that, that, honey. Are you gonna do that thing where you take like a napkin and then you lick it and you rub her face? <laughs> no, I personally find that revolting, so I would never make one of my characters do it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Uh, or, okay, On behalf so of I'm... all mothers any, everywhere <laughs> and children, <laughs> oh, thank you. I uh, hate Fritz, it. I've never done that. Fritz mm. is a super smart boy. Uh, are, are cyber eyes, like, can you, like, pop them out, or they, do they need to be, like, surgically removed? Uh, like, no, they would need to be surgically removed. They are okay. connected Catchable to your eyes. brain. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are uh, going to be painted for a while. <laughs> That's, yeah. Uh... Yeah. But they are, they are, you can pop them out. I thought you meant like just literally like take them like they're still connected no. by the little yeah. like you but like yeah. you, they're yeah but you can pop them out and it's not um just yeah um smack her on the back of the head real hard would Fritz, <laughs> Fritz, would Fritz know uh like it's a cyberpunk. nice solution? it's not cyberpunk without a little body horror you can reach yeah. it right. and just, and just oh, start oh it's also gross so Fritz, <laughs> Fritz 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 will uh will quickly look through some Shadowrunner forums of like has this ever happened to you? Like, I got like, <laughs> I got like paint in, like, our, our Sam got paint in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I will do a plot point. He will find that. 
Okay. Uh, where it's just like, it's like, oh my god, like, like it's just a bunch of street Sam's like, what is with people and paint into the eyes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're like, yeah, just get some of this and you can scrub it right out. Surprisingly and, uh, effective. Says yeah. Gasoline. <laughs> Use gasoline to get rid of paint. Gasoline in yeah. the eyes. Uh, and then clockwork right underneath is like, gasoline also gets rid of fucking technomancers. <laughs> Fritz, Fritz, Fritz closes the forum after giving him a download. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he'll say, uh, well, I can, I can uh, help with that situation, but I'm going to need uh, to, uh, you know. <laughs> Walter's just going to give him a blank stare because she doesn't really know where she's looking and just goes, do what you need to. All right, uh, this is going to be, this may be slightly painful. <laughs> I am used to it. Well, that's not the edgiest, edgiest thing I've heard today. Where's the gasoline? <laughs> Do you keep a span? I think in it's in the, the car. Uh, we're, uh, we're, once we get to where we're going, I'm sure we can find something. If we have uh, a lighter. Does anybody have a lighter? <laughs> I just, uh, you know, the paint, we don't want it to dry because then it'll become, uh, you know, uh, much more, uh, you know, potent. I do not want to be able not to see. You should be able to sentence. scrub it away. You'll, you'll be able to scrub it off with turpentine. Like, this isn't yeah. hard to do. You can stop at any stuffer shack, throw <laughs> a stuffer shack, grab yeah. some turpentine and scrub your scrub your eyes so off. He has, he has them popped out. And then when they go to the stuffer shack, he gets like turpentine <laughs> or whatever. But like... Her eyes are still dangling out of her face yeah. as he is. <laughs> it's completely normal. This is fine. Like, she's like yeah. looking at. You, staring you at hold like a cup of turpentine in front of her, and she like dips her eyes in. <laughs> the stuffer shack clerk is like, ah, uh, the old turpentine, the old uh, paint in the eyes trick, huh? I, it's very common. It's very interesting. Yeah. Deliverance is like, oh, oh. <laughs> when the cup. It's your eye on it full of turpentine. That's a That's Sam Mulray. That was well done. Well that done. was well done. Give yourself a plot point. Uh, yeah. So, so, so after after your eyes have been scrubbed, uh, let's decide where where you want to uh, interrogate Lurunda, leader of Mercury's Maidens. I have some badass turpentine, roller derby, babe. Uh, pure heart. Is there any anywhere in town that? You got some kind of hat out, some kind of space we can go? Yes, there's a place I've often taken people who need uh, to be spoken to. It's an old, um, abandoned, uh, small cathedral. You know, because we have lots of cathedrals, so there are small ones um, that is uh, no longer in use, and I'll take us there. There's a basement we can borrow. So basement in a small abandoned cathedral is what you're saying? Correct. For maximum okay. uh, creepitude. Creepyitude. <laughs> I would uh, like us all to be on the same page here. I am uh, I am not one for uh, the more acquired tastes for finding information. I'm, I'm not exactly okay with torture. Uh, but so I'm not I'm not sure of your ways if questioning you mean or using words or I'm a man uh, who does not like torture either but we'll see how things go All right well if it comes to that I'm uh, just I'm I, I will uh, see myself out I have but, other ways uh, of acquiring information I uh, am I am uh, skilled in the ways of the arcane, as you know. Yeah. I just want to make sure. This is it. It gets rather awkward when the team doesn't communicate. I have no intention of harming people. Unless they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he thinks back to everyone they've already harmed so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a quick montage of like people yeah. getting... It's just, it's, it's just Freebird with him thank, like, thank you, smashing so, people's heads in. Thank you, Soy Mage. Soy Mage is the stream boss, I apologize. Bam, edge number thank four. You, Gosh, man, you guys. Oh, man, you guys are great. I, it's catching me off guard because these are actual donations and not uh, not bits, right? And, so, like, I yeah, can't see yeah, them. So I don't see them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and already, like, the stream boss is at 1,800. Is that 1,600? 1,600 HP, never mind. I'm just wow. like, I'm, yep, 1,600. It's going by really quickly. I'm like, holy shit. It we gotta make, so you guys gotta make though. it rain this tonight because it's a, it's a, it's the last Master episode of the year. Fight night. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> we're, we're gonna. First of all, we're gonna need that edge. Second of all, it's the last show of the year, so let's let's send out 2018 in style. Now, um, if you can't donate monetarily, that's fine. But there is a bed in the closet, and I mean, yes. we're in, it's it's gonna get cold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, so let's do that. I, I take him there. Uh, I, 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 I do reassure people that I have no intention of, um, like, we're going to, we're going to question her, and, uh, she'll tell us what we need to know. All right, let's cut to that. Let's cut yeah. to the cathedral. Okay. Describe the cathedral and the basement underneath. Um, it's, it's a stereotypical abandoned, you know, you walk inside, it's like a cathedral, lots of spires, um, and, and, uh, angular, uh, architecture, um, is that the word? Uh, Gothic architecture? Cause yeah. it's a cathedral? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you come, when you, when we go inside, it's, it's empty and very dusty and lots of old sheets draped over things and, and whatnot, and you, um, the pure heart takes you right up to the, uh, to the, you know, I don't know the parts of a church anymore. Um, the place up, uh, where altar? the, the altar, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Travis and I are feeling this beat. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, this music's it is good. good. It is good. Welcome um, to Funky Church, man. <laughs> so Pure Heart takes, walks everybody up to the altar and, uh, behind the altar, behind the, you know, pipe organ that's up there, there's a staircase and a trap door and you, we walk down there and there's a, um, like a basement area below and it's cold and dank and, uh, and dark and it's full of old, like, p wooden pews and old, uh, like, extras, you know, like candelabra and those, you know, bowls on a stand that you put holy water in and all the extra Christmas stuff. Christmas decorations. Yeah, Christmas yeah. decorations. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, they, and they had an abandoned cathedral? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Leftover, yeah, leftover uh, angel and gargoyle statues that were just, you know, just never got used. Um, flannel grass. Nativity scene. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of nativity scenes. And, no, no yeah. one with the flannel grass. Um, no, I got, I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> All right, so um, so just, we get down can I there. I say that uh, when when we're down there, Valdar picks up baby Jesus and accidentally drops him, and he shatters, <laughs> and she just kind of kicks him to the side. Oh. <laughs> so, Sacrilege! Welcome to Jordan. I, I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my head, but it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is so, more cyberpunk than that? <laughs> So uh, pure heart um, takes. There's no room for Jesus anymore. <laughs> uh, takes okay, La La Runda, is that her name? Yeah. La yes. Runda and tosses her on the ground in between, you know, oh. just on the hard ground somewhere, and says, hey, yeah. "We'll wait for her to wake up." I, uh, yeah, thank you, Nick Morgan. I, I I think I would deserve it. <laughs> Gray man got us um, a oh bunch more bits. Only deliverance. Uh, Seven hundred left on that stream, boss. What up? Oh, Amazing. Um, so Deliverance uh, kind of like looks around and finds like pillows, like old dusty cushions that would have gone on pews or like uh, knee boards and, and kind of like tries to like make a spot so she'd be more comfortable. She's like, I don't know. Yeah. She's That doesn't look very nice. I... Do what you will. I'm going to uh, prepare myself and with prayer. And he he does go off into the corner and and sit and pray for a minute while uh while she wakes up and Nick Morgan just killed the yeah, stream thanks, boss Nick with Morgan. another uh, cheer. <laughs> Bam! Holy balls! This is awesome. Wow, you guys! <laughs> hey, you know that? Seriously, I think I, this, 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 if it keeps going like this, we life. we might top our our summer uh, yeah. stream. -a yeah, the streamathon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Right, that just means we need to. This is the audience telling us, let's kick it up a notch. Yeah, yeah. this so, is this is happening. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to send a plot point. I'm going to further complicate things. Uh, the you all hear uh, the the rooming of motorcycles approaching the Shit. the uh, cathedral. Them. You've been you've been tailed. Okay. Uh, you have you have moments this? to wake. Larunda up and get her to talk. 
How many motorcycles do you think there could be? Are there is there any like basement windows that we can peer out of? Do you remember um, in Kill Bill One when uh, they're approaching I've, the club like all I've, around like? I've, 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 I've never, never seen. seen that's it has been a very long time. Okay. I've never um, seen. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we're getting murdered by the crazy eights. Is that what's? So so sure, pure yeah. heart. <laughs> It, it, being interrupted by this sound in the middle of prayer, takes a deep breath, grits his teeth, and opens his eyes, and furrows his brow, and stands up slowly, like, you know, puts his hammer down, and, um, stands up, and holy shite, Chummer Jim My just gifted God, a million God. Oh! Subs. Yeah. Chummer, thanks, thanks for the sub, dude! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks, God, God damn! Alright, he just gifted five subs. Uh, so thank you, sir. <laughs> this is like, we can't even play because you guys are giving us <laughs> so much stuff. Yeah. You guys, are yeah. the best. Yeah. Can you guys calm down a second? I am trying to tell a story here. <laughs> yeah. no, Did you no, stop no, supporting us and trying <laughs> to dump information? Wait, so I missed say that this Trav show. is our stream boss. Oh, I don't is know. It because the, because the Chummer, and... Chummer, like, mine was last, I guess. <laughs> Because he gifted the sub to Trav, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but it's but it's Chummer. Let's be yeah, Chummer. exactly Chummer. Okay, all right. So Chummer's a stream best. Holy Can we shit! Get another okay. edge? <laughs> yes, yes. No, look we're at, at six uh, edge. Look at me, look at me up there on my sick icon. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Deliverance, <laughs> Deliverance is going to, uh, when she hears these motorcycles, she kind of perks up and she's gonna, going to conjure a spirit of man. Yeah. Nice. And Pure Heart has, like, slammed the head of his uh, uh, hammer down onto the ground to, you know, push himself up, you know? And he stands up slowly and turns Holy around. Shit. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's, uh, it's sorry, wait, awesome because it was saying, another 1398. Yeah. yeah. No. So, okay. and he turns back around and he says, we have to act now. We don't have time for this. And he walks over to her and lifts her up while she's sleeping and smacks her across the face. Oh. Ah! Yeah, and she's like, she's just like very hazy, like, uh, uh, wow. Is that really necessary? <laughs> the, uh, she has some comrades outside who are going to be making this more challenging, and I regret having to do this, but there are greater forces at play. Uh, Baldur's just gonna stand up at that and go, I am a greater force than anything. And she'll walk upstairs. <laughs> she'll follow yes, the rest of us and yeah. Uh, yeah, my spirit of man <laughs> goes with you. My spirit of man goes with you. Uh, Fritz <laughs> leaves like he said he would, and he's also yes. gonna go yeah, out. Yeah, because uh, right before Fritz does leave, uh, Pureheart says, um, Pureheart says, that's not, that. perhaps that is a, the best idea. We may need some time to hold these these off if anybody else would like to go and assist. Yeah. Okay. And he says that all the while not taking his eyes off of Larunda, who he's holding in front of his face. Oh yeah, Deliverance is gonna stay because she is afraid of what he's gonna do to her, but she sends her spirit. <clears throat> all right. So uh, should we just go into initiative? Um, so I'll start. Um, the uh, so the rooming uh, you you as you as you ascend back into the cathedral, you see all of these headlights. Um, that are just from all angles coming into the church via the stained glass windows, casting like this prismatic light inside mm -hmm. of the nighttime room inside. And and you realize exactly like you just, sur this whole entire building is surrounded. And, uh, and you start hearing like guns getting cocked. Um, people are, just ready to storm the place and that's when you hear turn turn our boss over now female voice saying that <laughs> you know a, you're in there can i yeah. do a plot point to make uh, this somewhat easier on Voltar? because since i am with a i am with a spirit of man but i still fear for her life um Give yourself, before had... before you do that, I'm sorry, we can't go too long without saying this. Give yourself all oh, yeah. another uh, edge, because <laughs> we... our, fa <laughs> our favorite our favorite uh, scumbag, Avenzi, is the <laughs> stream boss now. <laughs> but let's not um, let's not pass uh -huh. by Nick Morgan, who before that gave uh, right? 1399. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. My gosh. God damn. Um, I, they, they, this this uh, gang, I was about to say clan, this uh, gang is very like, think like, 
How do I put this in today's terms, I guess? Think very much Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, baseball okay. bat, like, very melee weapon oriented. The only guns that they would have are probably, like, flares or some shit to set things on fire. I would imagine okay. that they're very, like, women power, and also I can beat your car up with this baseball bat that's wrapped in barbed wire. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are all the Mercury's maidens. So yeah. these are the same people who had all of the the rollerblades. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. bladed rollerblades too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> one of them. One of them is broken. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> one of their blades. One of one of them has non damn it. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not, that's my plot point. That's what I wanted to use. Sure, perfect. Walter right, so will uh, lots of melee weapons. Herself in the middle of the cathedral, and as the prismatic lights cover her chrome skin, she just. She readies herself. Nice. Nice. Um, all right. So, so they're, they want their boss back. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. So starting with deliverance. Uh, and remember you guys, if you ever want, you can spend a plot point to jump ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, Deliverance is, uh, she, um, now we suspect that this is the Shedim, or we, uh, do we know that it isn't? So what we know, where, where on that? what we know about Larunda is that she is the uh, leader of this gang that is supposedly uh, the ones that are involved in um, performing this ritual to to bring the Shedim about that that, so we, you, that we don't okay. want. It's close. Okay, so okay. this gang scams this one ghoul with, and you assume that this is a scam that they do via me feed of collecting ghouls that they can sucker into leaving their bodies so that Shedim can take over. Uh, whether or not they're, like, what they're aware of, you don't know. Um, that's what you're in interrogating her for because you're trying to find out who is the Master Shadim because the murder that took place at the Pantheon was a ritual murder. Um, you know that Lurunda is not a Shadim because you've astrally ascensed her already and she doesn't have that black okay. aura that um, okay. you've seen on Shadim before. Um, so uh, I'm going to get in between Lurunda and Pureheart and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to ease her down kind of into one of the cushions that I've put there and say... Now listen, Lorunda, is it? Fuck you. you. Your bosses have caused some serious harm, and we need you to tell us where they are. Uh, give me a negotiation test, but at a minus two. Minus two. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna pre-edge this, so that'll be. Ninety-six. Okay, here we go. Bam. Uh, nice. Five. Yep. Five. Nice. Um. <clears throat> can da, 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 da. I? I think I might spend an edge too. I should reroll. Can't. Wait, um, well, I don't care. I mean, I need a, I need these for the Shadim. I'll hold on to it. Um. <laughs> I will spend a plot point to. Mm, no, never mind. Not you yet. could probably assist. No, I, that's not. It's the opposite of what I want to do right now. Okay. <laughs> you, want, you want to rough shit up? I know. Um, I want to. You can glitch die someone. It's perfectly. I, I, in the... I'm just trying to decide if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to spend a plot point to throw a glitch die in there for to to screw us over. Okay. So, Here I go. Yes. Okay. For me to roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Oh Bobby, oh what is wrong God. with you? <laughs> Got it. What? Nice. Oh, <laughs> God. <All right. laughs> um, so, she says... Uh, yeah, fine. I'll talk. For one million new yen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so... So, uh, pure heart... Your heart laughs. Deliverance kind of goes, ah, ah. Look, sweetheart, I can't stop him from whatever he's about to do if you don't tell me what we need to know. 
And my girl's about to come down here and kick your fucking ass. So either turn over a million dollars or turn me over, bitch. I You're love her. <laughs> and plus, I'm voting. Yay! Yay! Your, your friends are not going to be able to protect you from the wrath that I will call down on you if you do not tell us what you need, what we need to know. You are meddling with dark powers that you do not understand. Hmm. Is it wrong that my first instinct was there's dark powers in my pants? <laughs> All right, Voltar. I, I use a pot point to jump yeah, ahead. Right. I, figure, I figure if I debuff all of them, then she can just kick a bunch of vegetables. Um, <laughs> Fritz, Fritz, Fritz walking out of the celery. room still hears all of this over over like their comms, and he like turns off. He like just shuts it off, and he's like, I haven't heard this much edge since season one. And he goes uh, <laughs> and finds, finds a nice corner within reach uh, and passes out. And he's going to survey all of their technology, all of the uh, the rescue party's technology. Okay. Just this is. Their bikes. I'm sorry. I was, I was too busy like, with something. What you said? You're surveying what? I'm basically I'm in I'm in the matrix and I'm looking over all of the the Mercury's. Gotcha. And seeing what technology they have that I can turn off. All right, matrix oh, perception, please. Matrix perception. More like. Oh, I forgot my special power. <laughs> Six. Uh, oh, and right. also yeah. a one, we'll and also now. another one, and that makes that a fourteen. Hi, yeah, six. Okay. Um, on top of all of their motorcycles, um, yeah. they're also let's see, they have a couple of yeah, they have like the flare guns, and mm. that's basically it. It just seems like they're um, oh, and their and their roller skates are also activated. Uh, if you remember, you sabotaged a few that way yeah. as well. Um, so those are still active because they can, the idea is that they can wirelessly turn them on and off so that they can become rollerblades or just regular shoes. I'd have to be a rigger to like actually control a motorcycle, right? Yeah, I mean, you can have it, no, you can have it uh, to control it finely, yes, but you could just have it drive straight forward into into the cathedral or into somebody if you want but you know right. you would have a lot of control over it but it would cause you okay. could wreak havoc yes okay um yeah i'm going to um he's going to oh god what is the name it's not conjure he's going to oh also you know what Summon? uh since you since you succeeded on the matrix perception test uh you I also get to add it. Yeah, yeah, you get to add, yeah, you get to succeed stuff. You can also ask the audience for something interesting uh, that they might have I mean, that there might yeah. be on the Matrix. Actually, let's ask the audience. We need their, we yeah. need their help. Yeah, audience, yeah. what else, what interesting thing do they find on the Matrix that, that but, Fritz can, but sorry, I get it's your question. Who it is. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. What, what, uh, what thing, what technology do they all have in common that gives me an advantage when I can hack into it? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the game is super cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, it's not conjure, what is it? It's a, it's a sprite, it's compile. a- Compile. Compile. Compile a sprite, thank you. Uh, he's going to compile a boy. <laughs> and, uh, that boy <laughs> is going to be a, it's a, it's a crack, it's a crack sprite. That's, yep, that's the one. Okay. Okay. I don't I, know what I, that I haven't been on stream I, I in like a month. <laughs> I, I just imagined like you summoned a, a a thing that just started snorting crack cocaine and was like I yeah. got this. <laughs> like, we can do this, guys. Is, is, yeah. Is that, what, is, is that what happens when like one of my sprites doesn't compile correctly? Yeah. Um, they turn yeah, against. <laughs> so do I have to do a tasking? Um, yes. Not, tasking. And it's logic plus four, which is. Two. I'm gonna use an edge because I have 500 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, yeah. stream. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, chat. You're great. Five successes. There you go. All right. So All right. you almost like you sense a rebel pull, but you're able to finally like just yank him into the fucking matrix in, through the resonance, and you yeah. now have this uh, this code monster. This code uh, monster. What is, yeah. What does he look like? Uh, they, uh, his his sprites are basically wireframe silhouettes of himself with little additions based on the type of sprite. Since this is a crack sprite, which is a non-comber, non-comber-domber, a non-cyber-combat <laughs> sprite, 
yeah. I have not had to enunciate for a very long time. Um, <laughs> since it's not Voice play, actor extraordinaire has... here, everybody. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, give me money. But he's like a wireframe. No. Um, and then that sprite is going to. I will take the suggestion from Gray Man. Uh, they all have tear gas grenades uh, <laughs> that are connected wirelessly. Nice. Um, now, tear gas grenades, that's just riot control stuff. That's not like lethal. Right. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's perfect. Um, so yeah, he's going to activate. There's one, they're kind of in a V formation because they, they all move in a sort of like very collective manner. And so the one at the front, he's just going to uh, activate those that tear gas grenade. Okay. With the crack sprite? With the crack sprite. Yeah. I imagine that they would have their, their either in their hands or like on their hips, this, these uh, gas grenades. Yeah. So it looks oh, yeah, yeah, visually yeah. Like... pleasing in my head. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, some some people have like bandoliers on their chest. Oh, yeah, that's true too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the lead, the lead chick has it on her chest. Uh, of course she and does. a bandolier. We can do this. Oh, God. Because it's like... hilarious. Yeah. Yes, um, it is. Non cyber <laughs> combat. Sorry. Hacking is. Uh, oh my god. So that's three plus logic, which is seven, which is the two, which is nine, which is three. I'm gonna use more edge. More edge! You will not breathe this day! Three. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. Okay. I also got three successes. I was I was considering whether I wanted to spend an edge or not. Um, all right, so it it works. Uh, it works the okay. yes. So this tier, you just hear from the outside, ra- rather Voltar and Deliverance hear it. Yeah. You see it on the Matrix, just yeah, and like just <laughs> gas. Just there's like this. It's it's like this. Yeah, like. The, there, like this one headlight going like coming yeah. through the the stained glass window just starts to get like really hazy and like even further like prism mm. like like a gas yeah like this gas cloud just popped and mm. you start hearing like holy fuck what the shit <laughs> it's it's an automatic it's, it's it's connected to the wi-fi so they're all automatic and kind of techno-y and so it goes bing Activated, and she's like, "What the fuck?" And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this giant tear uh, gas. Cloud. It's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> I, can't, I can't breathe. Uh, so, like one side of one side of the uh, cathedral has been dealt with. Sweet. The, right, chick, uh... the chick with the deactivated blades <laughs> is the only one that didn't get caught because she couldn't keep up. She <laughs> was like, "Fuck this shit." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Deliverance. I know you had uh, something to do with your spirit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll just I'll just uh, throw out a, a close combat with spirit. So this spirit manifests as a uh, the fourth horseman of the apocalypse from Revelation. It is a rider on a pale horse, That's and beautiful. his name is Death. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Direct from the Bible. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he like this like massive wings like starts swinging like a big fucking mace uh and uh uh he's gonna go and try to take out one of the leaders on the other side of the church uh all right let's uh hey why don't we pre-edge this too sure uh okay five successes okay okay that hits you got two net hits Okay, and that is uh, five stun. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. I want Swoller Bear on my IMDb. Right. <laughs> uh, and right. thanks to Soy Mage for the suggestion, making it an angel from Revelations. Um, nice. Thanks, Soy Mage. Or uh, Paige, if you throw that in there. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for it right now. Um, so Mace to the stomach, you just go oh, and just flies back and knocks over another one. Uh, Voltar. Yes. Turn. Um, they're, are they inside the cathedral? Because I'm just kind of waiting for them to come to me. Uh, they have not entered yet, but... Eh, fuck it. Here you go. Plot point. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> they start, um, 
like bullet well no because there's no bullets now uh okay like a flare just fires in and bursts one of the stained glass windows and then uh like a bunch of banshee hellions they just like start they like vault over into the into the cathedral and then just start wheeling outward and like start fanning into the cathedral at you guys sweet okay yeah i'm going to i'm going to uh kick the first one away and then try bapping another one with my eskimo stick if i succeed i have a better description in my head sure, i just sure, want to sure, actually sure. make sure this works uh close combat da 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 You know what? I have I have edge. I'm gonna pre or re-roll my failure. Well, nine, four. Yeah, I'll re-roll my failure. You have eleven thousand. So. Yeah, eight successes on you my. You got kick. six net hits. Go oh, ahead Jesus. and just. <laughs> um. Okay. So one girl comes. Uh. Roll like skates in. Also, I do um. Image. <laughs> Close combat. Unarmed. Uh. Three. So you said six, so nine. Yeah, so nine. Okay. Um, she she comes in uh, on her skates, uh, uses like goes to kick Voltar with her blades, and Voltar immediately like puts her shin up so it blocks it, and she just twists her foot and kicks her in the stomach away, and then she'll twist to the next person and try zapping them with her Eskimo sticks. So it's like a it's like a kick one this way and then escrima stick that way. Yeah, well, it's like it's like yeah. a uh, I see it, I see it more like one person comes up to so like you know like in kung fu how they go one on one. It's kind of like that in my head okay. where Voltar kicks this one girl away, gets her footing, stands straight, and then just goes whap, whap, on the other so, girl. Gotcha. All of all of the extras are in a circle around you going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and going much. one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, ask for ask for Except these are all on roller skates, so they're just like rolling around. So they're, they're, so they're doing capoeira. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> um. Da, da, da. Sorry, I, I, I can. I, I'm just getting rid of my edge that I used. Rerolling, I get six successes. 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 We got six chances over here, guys. Six chances. Guys, we got six of them. Yeah, I'm you actually... got five net hits on that one. Oh, nice. So, eight. Well, no, because my Eskrima sticks are electrified. Yeah, no, I think that's more. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I think electrified, it's seven, because I have six P written down, but I have, like, something else that's next to it. Because they're electrified. Uh, Yeah, if they're electric, I think they, they do extra bonus stun damage. Yeah, because right now I just have something. Me. It should be like you probably have like six P and then like eight S or something like that. That sounds about right. Yeah, because I'm not seeing it on my written sheet. Well, whatever. Uh, it's probably eight stun because that's what the zappy things are in this game. Um, so eight stun <laughs> plus another five, thirteen stun. All right. So let's describe how you uh, take these these both girls out. Like so Yeah. So um, yes, the first girl she rolls in, tries to like roundhouse kick Voltar. Voltar stops it with her leg, twists her leg enough where she just kicks her straight in the chest. She gets, Voltar, she falls back into one of the pews, uh, like rolls over on her stomach after hitting the pew. And mm -hmm. uh, Voltar, uh, she gets her footing and she immediately just twirls that Eskimo stick in her hand and just whaps this one chick across the face. Yep, and just like electrocutes her. And then she'll turn her attention to the next one that's probably coming in to attack her. Nice. Uh, so I looked it up. Eskrima stick should be seven stun. Great. I'll write it down. Okay. Uh, Pureheart. Um, downstairs. Yes. So he, Pureheart, uh, again, still holding Larunda, pulls her in close and says in a very strong <laughs> voice to her, says, do you hear that screaming up there? They? You, he says, do you hear that screaming? Maybe it's time that you remember your Romans. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. And then he takes a deep breath and says, Your girls may be strong, but mine burn bright with the righteousness of the Lord, so I suggest you change your tune. 
At least one of them doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me an intimidation test. I'm not the other gonna one's just a crazy badass chick. Like <laughs> that was that was an awesome. That was awesome, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not gonna bother rolling because whatever I would got, get, I'm gonna spend a plot point to make it so that she um, doesn't either. She either. Uh, fails to give us the correct information or refuses to give us the correct information. Oh. And, why and, why um, are you sabotaging? And he's, uh, he's, okay. lift, yeah, yeah, he's lifted up his <laughs> he's lifted up his hammer at this point and it begins to glow a little bit white while he's casting uh, Analyze Truth. And I want to get... I'm, I'm spending the plot point okay. to get a negative result on that. That she's lying. Okay. Um, deliverance? So... Uh, I know that you're, you're a good person. Can you... Um, Incapacitate our friend here. Could you incapacitate us? That'd be kind of metagaming. Cup potato. Something's going down, and I'm not a fan of. Okay. So, so, yeah. So she just looks at you, and she's like, uh, "English." <laughs> <laughs> she's got. Oh man, oh, this is so good. Are you having this kind of <laughs> Her hands may be um, tied, but it doesn't stop her from drinking all of the tea. So, even, so uh, analyze truth. Uh, yeah, no, she was like, if you, if you actually meant, like whatever it is that you meant, like she didn't understand it yeah. anyway. Yeah, the analyze she truth was the was being cast in preparation for her to answer. She's obviously not uh, answering <laughs> the question. She's like, "Fuck you!" And analyze truth is like, "This was this was true." True. Yeah. <laughs> she would like you to go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, by the way, if yeah. is Deliverance still in the room? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She and she's like wide eyed at the. Yeah, at the... you would notice that he seems, he's angry, but he's not like losing his cool. He's very. He's very calm and collected and deliberate, and every motion that he's making is very, very deliberate, is really kind of the best way to put it. He's not, he's he's putting on a show of force right now. He's not like trying to. Are you just trying to impress her so you can get her a number? Is that what's happening? It's, yeah, so, sort of, yes. There's something like that happening, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By her number, he means the. Right. Yeah, and by her and by her number, I do mean the uh, the information we need. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it is my turn, uh, and we're gonna start moving faster. So uh, okay. the uh, so yeah, so I need Voltar and yes. uh, Spirit to make defense tests, agility plus logic, please. Fritz, you hid somewhere, so you're probably yeah. not gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm gonna and this. that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a bunch of uh, girls on roller skates with like machetes and like baseball bats oh. wrapped in in uh, in wire, just coming like just coming zooming in on there, doing all kinds of tricks to get a sucker punch in. I got nine successes because I pre-edged. Four. Holy balls. Even Edge couldn't save my spirit. Oh. All right, yeah, so I got uh, one net hit on the spirit. Um, okay. So that's gonna be, let's see, with a machete, five, Clooney, Batman. six damage. Six damage to the spirit. Man. Okay. All right. It's my bad credit card. <laughs> Never leave the cave without it. <laughs> so stupid. I know. Fuck you, George. <laughs> Beautiful man. Don't blame George, um, that was Joel Schumacher's fault. <laughs> And uh, and you you upstairs uh, and Fritz maybe eh, no you wouldn't you wouldn't see you wouldn't hear this yet um, but uh, you upstairs already are seeing that several of these roller skater girls um, that have now busted through the front doors of the cathedral um, so they're coming in through the front doors through the side this side is already the left side is already like distracted because of the gas grenade. Um, they're already making their way towards the, the back area like they know exactly where she is. Yeah, there's no way I can stop an entire army. Yeah, and so they're just like flooding the area and they like just yank open this trap door. So uh, Deliverance and Pure Heart suddenly like this 
boof, you just like light pours down into the into the roof. Boof. How's it boof. go? What what how did how did it go? Boof. <laughs> boof. That's one of my favorite sound effects of all time. Yeah. Oh no, I heard a boof. <laughs> <laughs> the trap door. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, boof. It right. can be only one thing. So Deliverance is going to do two things. First, she's going to take Lorinda's comlink. Um, she's going to snatch it off of her. And then she's going to cast uh, Improved Invisibility on herself and Pure Heart. Um, and, uh, and she's going to say into his ear, uh, we got to get out of here. We'll get what we need from this. I'm sure Fritz can figure it out. I was gonna say, do, do you want to make Fritz invisible? Because I think he's with you. Can I? I Fritz, not, Fritz, Fritz not was in you. the room with oh, me, okay. and because because the spell is just targeted group. I'm assuming they need to be close to me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. They so need to be the two of us. Yeah, because I can't so. see them. So uh, those two, um, and then I'm going to. Uh, yeah, boosh. Okay. I totally forgot that we named them that. <laughs> and then the spirit, spirit of man. I want, I want the spirit of man to slow down the women coming in the door. So, okay, let's do that. That'll be. He's gonna kind of like get in the way and intercept. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a close combat on them. Four successes. Okay, you got two net hits. Okay, so that's five stun on. Uh, I guess just the first one coming in the door, like kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for a side. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's. I mean, boof, boof. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then she. The uh, uh, How many trap doors do we have? To Dox. Dox. <laughs> take that window of opportunity to get out. She like get climbs, out of the... climbs out, yeah, and gets out of there. Okay, even though there's like already people coming down the the thing. Well, I thought my my spirit was able to block them. That's what I was. Uh, that was I. Oh, I thought was, you were talking was about. What I was intending. You're talking about the front door of the cathedral. There's um, a front so door, the, or you were talking about the trap door. The trap door is that is blocked. Yes or no? The trap door is what they just opened. So they're they're pouring into the room now. Yeah, you don't. Okay, you don't I'm wanna, invisible. You don't I can't get past. leave yet. You don't want to leave yet. I don't want to leave yet. Correct. Because you cannot get past them right now. Because okay, that would well, be I can't, challenging. So I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will. Um, you're invisible, just hide behind like, some of the to a, I'm gonna hide behind a flannel graph. There you go. <laughs> Fritz. Um, all right, so I'm gonna spend a plot point to make very convenient things happen. And uh -huh. near Fritz's entrance, um, one of the, you, he hears one of the girls uh, like, get this fucking thing off me. And like, you, you, she's like falls on, onto the stairs and her harness with her tear gas uh, grenades uh, falls like on the floor in front of him. He only activated the one at the front, so mm -hmm. these ones are still like primed. Um, so he's going to uh, bark something in German at his uh, at his sprite, who is then the sprite is going to activate the motorcycle and channeling his virtual bowling days. Uh, the motorcycle. Uh, once activated, is going to head forward towards the group of uh, of <laughs> roller pins, uh, opening the the trap door, and Fritz okay. is going to grab the harness and throw it at the motorcycle, uh, so it la like lands on the motorcycle and then blows up when it hits them. Okay. <laughs> so you're doing you're doing hacking slash yeah. chucking this. Okay. You're hacking doing a lot of things. slash hacking yeah. slash. Hence plants point. Hence I'm hacking. Yeah, I'm hacking slash. Point. <laughs> Got it. Aha. Okay. Uh, let's. Ooh, what do so. we call this? Uh, let's. Ridic Anarchy is what we call. Yeah, it. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, let's call this. Uh, let's call this. Uh, so it's project. I guess it would be a projectile weapons would make sense if you're. So you agility. Think, is... Yeah, agility. Okay. Okay. That's. And uh, have a glitch die. Sure. Uh, so. Because if this works, this would be awesome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. So do you want me to do hacking first for the sprite activating the motorcycle? Oh, and right, then, yeah, your sprite does And stuff. then agility yes. for him throwing the keg. Yes, yes. So... So the I'm using the plot point on... Yes. Uh, on the throw. Okay. Yeah. So sprite gets a three to activate the motorcycle. And I'm going to... Uh -huh. I'm going... 
Oh, not no, not armor. Um, I'm going to spend edge all over this fucking thing because this is okay. a lot. So first edge goes to this. Uh, so that is five for okay. the motorcycle. All right. So you're able to hack in the motorcycle just zoom into yeah. the into the church. Um. And just for shits and giggles, one of the roller chicks got on the motorcycle, and she's like, fuck this, and then that's the one that activates, so she's along for the ride. <laughs> no! Let go <laughs> um, of the bike! <laughs> and Fritz, Fritz wakes up and, and grabs the, the harness and chucks it. Uh, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to pre-edge this one. Uh, I'll edge my fuck up. So, agility... <laughs> I'm going to re-roll that with edge. Three. Three. Um... And then okay. a glitch, glitch die. die. Ah, damn it. Nothing. Okay. Uh, well, I only got two successes on the difficulties. So yes! yes! You're able to make it happen! <laughs> She's like, oh, why is everything foot? And then the, the hardest hits her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the thing just careens into this entire group and uh, deliverance. And from their point of view, deliverance and pure heart, you're just looking up at the thing and you just see, <laughs> like, this. <laughs> Just this fog cloud comes down, and you're like, uh, and then you just hear screaming, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, and then and like, one air. person just like tumbles down the stairs, like, <laughs> ah, just clutching her eyes. And Deliverance oh, had like, she was trying to go up, and then she's like, oh no, I can't do it. And no, she dodges out of the way, right out of the way. It's like, and then, <laughs> 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 uh, you get, Yeah, you get Fritz over the comms. Don't come up here. <laughs> Nicely done. Get a plot point, Fritz. Yay. Voltar, your turn. Um,. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll try stopping more people from not coming down there, and or if there's another entryway, but it, it's Fritz took care of that, so. Um. I have a question. What would it, what, what would be my role if I ran in through the tear gas? Like, would I have negatives to things, or would it just be my sight modifier? Which wouldn't even happen because of Cyber Eyes. Right. Uh, uh, but Tear Gas is also, like, in your throat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, like, causes breathing issues and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, I would like, give you... Yeah, I would give you, like, negative modifiers Wait. slash... Wait! Yeah. Voltar is going to um, pull on her luchador mask that she fucking won. That I'm gonna ah! say covers her face so she can't breathe it in. <laughs> Give yourself nice. a plot point, girl. Thank you. Yes. And Whoa, she uh, Lord called Lord. back. Lord. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. <laughs> that bowling tournament came in handy today. Right. <laughs> yep, and uh yeah. Baltar will uh She'll uh, she'll run in and she'll start like pushing people out of the way. My goal is to get into the basement, grab this chick, and go because obviously we don't have the information. Because I'm if I'm hearing this on the comms, we're not getting anything out of this chick, and we need information out of her. Mm -hmm. So my my main goal is to make a path. Probably just I don't know stun <laughs> Eskrima sticking yeah. everybody my way in. You're just clearing a path. So give me yeah yep. give me a close combat. Cool. Swoller Bear, please give me the power, I beg of you. The power I'm of Swoller Bear. Uh, eight Ooh. successes. Eight successes. Oh. All right. So we'll, so that we don't have to do a second attack, we'll just say that, yeah, you easily just carve your way through all of these, like, panicking people and create a path for them to come out uh, of the basement. Shit. Holy crap! Thanks for all the, thanks Five for more the gift yeah. subs, Palmer. Oh my God. Thank you, Palmer. Gosh. It's the like man. For for like being so close to the holidays, this is uh, appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa. Happy holidays. Sorry. Happy holidays. Is that is everyone? That another edge? No, we have seven hundred no, more health. That Avenzi okay. is really. Uh, Santanarchy! Santanarchy! Yes! <laughs> that sounds like hey. Satan Anarchy! Down hey. the hole with bullets! Satanarchy! Satanarchy! <laughs> yes! Alright, um. <laughs> your heart. Alright, so, um, after. So, quick recap. Um, the, uh, Larunda, you know, last thing she said to Pure Heart was. English, please. Yeah, yeah uh, English, please. And he's. 
he's he's he closes his eyes and grits his teeth and he And now since that moment yeah remember you've got invisible yeah the door is popped open people are threatening to come in and then like this gas cloud pops and then someone falls down the, the stairs screaming like wilhelm screaming but female wilhelm screaming. <laughs> yeah. and at that his eyes shoot open and if you were able to see him he would look much more angry at this point but you can't but you hear through gritted teeth he says i've lost my patience girl and um and he says you've clearly been corrupted by this demon and i'm going to have to cleanse your soul and he throws her onto the <gasps> ground and um and uh he does truly lose his patience and he casts uh boil blood on her <gasps> oh Holy my god. god oh god Three to four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, um. So that's a sorcery <laughs> plus uh, with a specialization in blood magic. Um, so now, are you getting the blood TV. power from her or from yourself? Oh no, it's from her. He's no, he he, he boils. He's boiling her. So what boil blood does is it literally sets fire to the blood inside a person's body. So my um, my my understanding of blood magic is that you need blood, a blood supply, in order to power it. Um, or is that misunderstood? Not necessarily. No, you don't blood have to. Blood makes your magic more powerful. Okay. You, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. use different. You, there are different ways that you can use blood, yes, to yeah. mechanically uh, like add dice to your rolls or just make it more powerful. But you can okay. just use blood magic. Um, yeah. And so that's what he's doing. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah so this is kind of like uh, like blood bending. Yeah. yeah. That, that is it's a power like, you without, like, yeah, like the, the way you're thinking of Scrim is, uh, yeah, you get extra dice rolls depending okay. on certain different things. And I know that there's like, if uh, you take someone's blood without their consent, it's more powerful than if someone actually has right, their consent. Right. Like, oh, you can borrow my blood. Another edge to all of us. Thank you, Great Man. Thank you, Great Man. Nice, nice. Another edge, and I just spent it six to give myself successes. six successes. All right, so what happens on three net hits? Um, okay, so Boil Blood does a base damage of 4P, ignores armor, and defenses... Uh, uh, strength armor. plus willpower. Shit, man. This bitch dead. <laughs> yeah. That's I seven, that. right? Yeah, it's seven. So yeah. she just starts howling and screaming. She's like, ah! Stop! Ah! So <laughs> even, even deliverance, deliverance screams too, and she like runs to like try to where she me? thinks Pure Heart is, and she's like trying to hold him back. Well, like, e even what, more so because it's it's more frightening. You, you feel you feel the heat on her body. Well, not just that. It's it's more frightening than that because from any open wound she may have, uh, flames sp spout <sighs> out um, <laughs> from open wounds that she has, which which he has already you know smacked her across the face to wake her up, and then whatever battle she got in to get here, so she's probably, you know. Um, she was relatively unscathed. She just got tackled and put in a trunk, really. But, True. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Deliverance, uh, uh, as she's watching this, she she feels like, like she's like an addict watching someone else get high. She just yeah. sees it and and she she like the burning smell is like is like smelling. Um, is like a sweet smell to her and she's just like <gasps> and she 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 can feel this like tantalizing desire to 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 do the same thing and to add on to it and she uh and she closes her eyes and she says oh lord give me strength and uh um <clears throat> and steals herself and i'll save the rest for my turn okay um all right so for my turn um we're going to all right, I'm gonna spend a plot point. Mm -hmm. um, it's at this point that you suddenly start hearing um, who's who's upstairs right now? Just Voltar, right? And, Voltar and Fritz, but Fritz is like kind of no. Fritz is awake now. Okay, Fritz so is awake now, yeah. my spirit's up there. <clears throat> So through the through the front door of the church, you see this dude 
come through uh, on on like a Harley Davidson Scorpion, right? Ooh. And he's got like leather cut off Fuck. vest jacket <laughs> and uh, big beard. So, <laughs> yeah, like he looks like a Hell's Angel, right? And he, yeah. he just like drives through with an Aries Predator and stops and starts pop, 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 just popping like whoever any of the Mercury's maidens that he can. Jesus. Um, uh, at this point, like... <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're so all starting... Nap. Yeah, no, they're starting to freak the fuck out, and... Yeah. Um, given the current situation that this guy is just coming into this cathedral and starting to massacre people with a with a gun uh yeah they're they're like book it and they all just like just pounce scatter. out of this yeah they all scatter probably for broken scatter, windows and, like, and shit hop, just get out yeah yeah they hop onto their their motorcycles whoever they whoever can to get out and uh leaving you guys uh in this church amongst several dead bodies and like the scream you hear the screams from downstairs now that after everyone's like left you hear the boy the screams of pain and torture uh downstairs from larunda can i uh use a plot point for jumping ahead uh, and doing something uh before you do okay uh i should probably like that means no there should probably no there should probably be a moment uh to Discuss, right? Let me, let me believe my oh, no, case. I, I <laughs> was hoping no. to. I had like a because I knew my turn was coming up right away. Yeah, unless sure. it's well. Hold on. Um. So here, well, we're gonna we're gonna go uh -oh, back to you. Music change. Music change. Yeah. <laughs> she um, just got real. <laughs> so this guy dismounts. Uh this his motorcycle looks at all of you and says is i i've been looking for i've been looking for you guys when he finishes that sentence i'm not gonna not leave uh-huh. But Fritz, this is this is this to quote Cactus, everything is happening so much. Yeah. Um, just uh, very, very as discreetly as I can, I just want to me and my sprite team up and turn off his gun real quick. Sure. Just, Go ahead and okay. give me a hack. Yeah. Test. Okay. Uh, that's kind of what I was wanted to do with Baltar, because everything's happening. I also wanted to have a flashback for her. So. Well, because I didn't I didn't want to get like combative, like try and take it. I just want to turn it off so he like, you know, if he yeah. doesn't need to use it, then it's not gonna be a problem. Um sure. So uh, 10, 12, <laughs> locked of numbers, uh, 12 and 14, 6. I love how you did that in first so, voice, because it's just imagine, yeah. I just imagined you looking yeah. in like AI. Like, oh, zwei, zwei. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for some reason, uh, this gun, I mean, you're able to finally turn it off, but it has really good protection on it. Okay. Strangely. I'm successful, and, but it's like crazy good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like you got zero net hits. Good. Um, and uh, so he doesn't realize that his gun's turned yeah. off. But either way, he kind of just holds up his arms and says, "I'm delivering his brother." And we're gonna take a break. What? What? <laughs> yeah. What's happening? <laughs> Welcome to Buff Stuff McGruff's character, his NPC, oh who decided God. to make Deliverance his brother. What? That's amazing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Buff Stuff McGruff, you're amazing. So, nice. stay right. tuned, everyone. We'll be back in what five minutes, ten minutes. Let's 10 minutes. let's uh let's do five minutes. Um, and while we're away, you guys, I'm stalling to because I had to restart this computer before we started, so I have to pull up the timer. So why don't you uh tell everybody how thankful I am for yeah. all these awesome donations? Oh my god, yeah, thank you amazing. guys so much. I am bursting. Game? I am bursting to finish this episode, and this is a crazy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> is your crazy. is your blood boiling? Oh gosh! <laughs> You're a maniac. 
<laughs> Lighthearted <laughs> joking. <laughs> Are your wounds flaming? <laughs> All right, I've got the timer up. Uh, we'll take a quick five-minute break, and we'll be right back, guys. Uh, stick around. Uh, 